Twelve local artists have received the opportunity of a lifetime, and their artwork is now about to be displayed in a very public way. Eyewitness News reporter Brianna Strunk joins us live in Stroudsburg tonight to explain where we can catch their creations. Brianna? Well, Nick, starting this week, 12 artists from the Poconos and the Lehigh Valley will watch as their artwork is displayed on large billboards across the region. Lucille Norella's floral artwork is about to be featured for all to see along Route 33 in Hamilton Township. Oh my gosh, I was just so honored and so humbled and so thrilled. More than 170 high school and professional artists submitted pieces, but just 12 were selected by a panel of judges. This is the annual Art Pop Billboard competition. So it was very difficult to choose, so we tried to pick things that were um, representative of a lot of different mediums. Adams Outdoor Advertising donated 12 blank billboards along major thoroughfares throughout the region. This is one of last year's winners. They can be seen anywhere from Lackawanna County through the Allentown area. Artists have their designs displayed for a full year. Then, new winners are featured. The goal is to promote as many artists as possible. I think it's a great way for artists' work to be seen in a huge way. Lucille created her submission using flowers she plants, picks, and presses from her own garden. Is it just, I don't know, something about pressed flowers that people like? She's excited to see what other opportunities blossom from this. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. It could be life changing. There's so many opportunities available once your, work, your art gets out there and people see it. The new artwork will hit the highways this week and it will remain up through the end of December. Live in Stroudsburg, Brianna Strunk, Eyewitness News. Get an audience for their artwork they never would have gotten otherwise. That's a great idea. Okay, Brianna, thanks. The Art Pop Street Gallery program is offered in cities throughout the country. Eastern Pennsylvania has participated for the past five years, and we've posted more info for you on pahomepage.com.